to drop the spartan you need two measurements you need your waist circumference and the length of the skirt and by the way i won't be adding any seam allowance or m allowance to this measurement okay so this draft is going to give me the exact waist circumference and the exact length of the skirt now the next thing is to determine the waist radius for a full circle skirt and the formula for this is you divide your waist circumference by 6.28 so this is when you are cutting on your pattern paper when you are cutting on fabric you need to add your seam allowance which i'm going to demonstrate later okay now i'm working with 13.5 as my waist circumference so dividing that by 6.28 would give me 2.2 approximately to determine the amount of fabric that is needed to draft the full circle skirt that would go around your waist add your waist radius and the full length of your skirt and then multiply this by 2 my waist radius for this pattern is 2.2 the length is 7.5 adding these together will give me 9.7 now multiplying 9.7 by 2 is going to give me 19.4 so i'm just going to round this off to 19.5 now using this figure i'm going to cut out a perfectly squared shape pattern paper so right now i'm going to fold my pattern paper once like so to give me two parts So I have one, two. So I fold again, and this is going to give me four parts. One, two, three, four. And now from this point of the fold, I'll start marking my waist radius, which is approximately 2.2 from one end of the paper to the other end in the form of an arc. Now using my French curve, I connect the dots together. Now from this curved line, I'll start marking the full length of the skirt. So like we did with the first curved line, I'll start marking in the form of an arc from one end of the pattern paper to the other end. Now using the French curve, I'll connect the dots together. And now we're done with drafting the full circle skirt. Now I just go ahead and cut this out of the paper and show you our perfect circle skirt. Now I'm going to choose from one of these four parts and cut it open just to have an opening for a full circle skirt. You can actually decide if you want three seams around your circle skirt, that is, two seam at the side and one seam at the back or you can go for two seam at the side or even go for one seam at the back but for this tutorial I'll be going for one seam at the back of the skirt okay to cut directly on your fabric decide the number of seam you want to have on your circle skirt and then calculate the seam allowance now add your seam allowance to your waist circumference and then divide that by 6.28 which is the formula for the full circle skirt now you also need to add your m allowance to the full length of the skirt i have already calculated the amount of fabric that is needed to make this skirt so as you can see i have a perfect squared shape fabric okay now i'm going to fold this fabric twice so i fold it once and then i'll fold again so this is going to give me four pieces. Now from this part of the fabric, the side of the fold, I am going to mark my waist radius, which is my waist circumference plus my seam allowance, which is one inch divided by 6.28. And then I'll draw the curve. Now I'm going to draw another curve, which is going to be a half inch seam allowance for my skirt. Now from the second line, which is the original line we had, I'm going to mark the full length of the skirt plus my M allowance. And then I'll go ahead and cut out the skirt. Now remember, 
the first curve line is the seam allowance for the waist area of the skirt so this is the seam allowance we need to join the waistband to the skirt now because my skirt is going to have one seam I'm just going to cut one opening on the skirt so this is the part where we'll be taking half inch seam allowance on both sides to give the one inch allowance we added to the skirt now because we're drafting directly on the fabric the formula for the half circle skirt is your waist circumference plus your seam allowance divided by 3.14 which is half of 6.28 and this for me is 4.6 inches for the full circle skirt we worked on a squared shape fabric now for the half circle skirt we need a rectangular shape fabric and to know the dimension of the fabric add your waist radius and the full length of the skirt this will be the length of your fabric now to know the width of the fabric add your waist radius and your skirt length and multiply this by two now fold your fabric like so this will give you two parts one two now from this part of the fold on a 45 degree angle mark your waist radius and this for me is 4.6 now from this curve line mark down your skirt length plus the m allowance Using a French curve, connect the dots together. Now add your waist seam allowance. And here you have the half circle skirt. Now for the quarter circle skirt, you need a squared shape fabric like the full circle skirt. Now to get the dimension of your fabric and the amount needed, add your waist radius and the full length of the skirt. Now using this figure, cut out a perfectly squared shaped fabric. To calculate the waist radius for the quarter circle skirt, add your waist circumference and the seam allowance and then divide it by 1.57 which is quarter of 6.28 and this will be for me 9.2 inches now fold your fabric like so on a 45 degree angle you're going to have a triangular shape now from this part of the fold mark down your waist radius for the quarter circle skirt now mark upward your waist seam allowance now from the second curve line mark down the full length of your skirt plus your m allowance connect the curve together and then cut out your quarter circle skirt For the three quarter circle skirt, you need a squared shaped fabric like the full circle skirt. Now to know the dimension of the fabric or pattern paper that will go around your waist, first you need to find the waist radius for the three quarter circle skirt and then you add the full length of the skirt and multiply this by two. So the total number you get, the total figure you get, use this to cut out a square on your pattern paper or your fabric. Now finding the waist radius for the three quarter circle skirt is a little bit tricky. You know, it's not like straightforward like the half circle skirt, the full circle skirt or the quarter circle skirt. So I'm going to try my best to explain this in the best way I can. 
the formula for the three quarter circle skirt that will go around the full circumference of your waist is your waist circumference divided by 4.71 which is three quarter of 6.28 the easiest way to do this is to divide 6.28 by 4 and times that value by 3 so that is how we got 4.71 now divide your waist circumference by 4.71 to get the waist radius for the three quarter circle skirt. But then there's gonna be a little bit of twist when you're drafting or cutting out your three quarter circle skirt. So what this means is that after drafting your three quarter circle skirt using the radius for the three quarter circle skirt, you're going to cut out one quarter portion of your finished skirt out of the skirt to give you three quarter circle skirt, if that makes sense. So let me just go ahead and show you. Now, because I'm working directly on the pattern paper right now, the waist radius for the three quarter circle skirt will be my waist circumference divided by 4.71 and this for me will be 2.9 approximately now fold your pattern paper like so diagonally so this is gonna give you like a right angle shape now go ahead and fold again on a 45 degree angle your pattern paper so this is going to give you a triangular shape again after folding so when you open this up you're going to find out you have four triangle in a square so the idea for the three quarter circle skirt is to cut out one of those triangle to give you three triangles in a square i know it's complicated <laughs> okay now we just go back and fold our pattern paper the way it was before so this will give you two triangles now we're going to take one of these triangles and fold it in half like so so i'll just fold and just get the crease line and then i'll just draw a straight line right in the middle so right now we have two right angle triangles now i'm going to cut out one of this triangle and when i open it up i'm going to have a square i think this is the idea of the three quarter circle skirt to have some level of fullness and they have some fabric left you can use for a top or a bralette or whatever i guess now i will start marking my waist radius for the three quarter circle skirt which is your assuming we're working directly on the fabric it would be your waist circumference plus seam allowance divided by 4.71 so after marking connect the dots with a French curve together and then as you mean we're working directly on the fabric you mark upwards your seam allowance so I'm marking half inch seam allowance upward from the curved line I'm marking down my skirt length plus the M allowance then use your French curve to connect the dots together and here you have it this is the three quarter circle skirt which means one quarter portion of a full circle skirt is missing so that one quarter portion you can actually use to sew a top a bralette whatever so yeah you have it now i'm just going to cut this directly on my fabric and i'll show you the finished look of this four different circle skirts on my mannequin okay as i said when cutting on fabric you have to add your seam allowance to the waist circumference of the skirt before you divide it by 4.71 which is three quarter of 6.28 so the demonstration i did on paper is pretty much the same thing i'm going to do here on the fabric